What's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the three New York Rangers prospects currently playing in this CHL. We have two in the OHL, one in the QMJHL, obviously Maxim Barbashev, and the two in the OHL is Bryce McConnell Barker and Dylan Rubrick. So we're going to take a look at those guys today in this video. I'll give you guys an update on how they've been playing so far this season as well as how their teams have been doing because one of these guys' teams have actually kind of solidified themselves as a potential true playoff team, which is definitely a very good sign. Starting off here, taking a look at the first prospect, and honestly, the, probably the best out of the bunch, Bryce McConnell Barker. He's one of the best prospects in the entire Ranger system. I would say he's the clear number one center prospect in the system as well. He's a fantastic two-way center. And taking a look at the standings here right now, the Sioux Greyhounds currently sit in second place in the entire Western Conference with 33 games played, 47 points. They're not doing too bad at all. They do have three more games played and six more points than Saginaw, who's right behind them in third. So... They can, they can obviously hold on to that spot right now, I'm sure. And they're not too far back to Kitcher in the top spot in the Western Conference who have one more game played but do have three more points. And taking a look here at what Bryce McConnell Barker has done so far this season offensively, he has 30 games played, 30 points, 12 goals, 18 assists. He's playing some pretty good hockey and especially as of late has really turned things around offensively. At the start of the season, kind of got off to a bit of a slow start offensively. Wasn't quite producing at a point-per-game level or a bit above like you kind of expected of him. As last season, he did have 77 points in 68 games played. But this year, in his last five games, has 7 points. In his last 10 games played, has 12 points. So he's producing at a pretty good level, especially as of late, over a point per game, which is definitely a good sign. And when you consider he is known as the more of a two-way kind of set, a really good shutdown kind of guy, really good in the draws, good penalty kill kind of guy, really good defensively. This is definitely a good sign here. There's obviously at a point per game and well, more than likely, I'd imagine, probably finish over that as well. And next up here, we have six foot seven, 205 pound center prospect, Dylan Rubrek. So far this season with the Oshawa Generals, they're not doing too bad at all. They're right now in sixth place in the Eastern Conference, have started to climb up the standings a bit. They have 30 games played, 32 points, team behind them. The Peter O'Peets have 31 games played, 32 points, and the team above them, the North Bay Battalion, have 32 games played, 35 points. So they're not doing too bad at all right now in sixth place in the Eastern Conference. Looking like a you know pretty solid team, not a great team, but definitely a decent one and could potentially go on a bit of a playoff run. And taking a look here at what he's done so far this season, he has 30 games played, 8 goals, 19 assists, 27 points. He does have 37 penalty minutes, which is a lot, but still not too bad at all. 27 points in 30 games played is not bad at all. He's a great playmaker as well as good hands, good skating. I mean, he definitely is quite talented offensively. His projections right now, he plays the full season, obviously, is expected to be about 68 games played, 18 goals, 43 assists, 61 points, which would be an eight-point improvement on last season. So that wouldn't be too bad at all. He'd be adding on, you know, our five assists and three goals from last year, which is pretty solid. I mean, he can have an eight-point improvement. That's definitely not too bad at all. And this is a pretty talented player, like I said. He's not going to be, I don't think, a, a you know, top six guy at the NHL level, but you know, being a really solid third liner one day is definitely in the in the books for a guy like Dylan Rubrick, if he can kind of round it his whole entire game and really become more of a complete player. But he definitely does have some offensive upside there and definitely has some pretty good talent as well, especially for his size. And next up here, we have Maxim Barbashev, a six foot one left wing prospect, fairly recently turned 20 years old. His brother right now in the NHL, Ivan Barbashev, has won two Stanley Cups, one recently with the Vegas Golden Knights, and obviously one with the St. Louis Blues as well. So hopefully he can follow in his brother's footsteps there. But a former fifth round pick back in the 2022 NHL draft, you know, solid six foot one winger prospect. I wouldn't say has top six upside, but could one day be, you know, a pretty solid NHL player, potentially in the bottom six, maybe. And right now, his team currently sits in fifth place, tied with the Cape Breton Eagles right now in the Eastern Conference, the Rimouski Oceanic. So not too bad at all. He's on Lafreniere's former QMJHL team, and they have 34 games played, 35 points. Like I said, tied with the Cape Breton Eagles for fifth place. Not too bad at all. And the team right above them, the Shakutami Seguins, they right now have 35 games played, 36 points. So one more game played, one more point. Rimouski sitting in a pretty good spot right now and will be making playoffs, I'd imagine. I can't imagine they'd kind of fall off this hard. So... I'm sure they'll make the playoffs. They're a pretty solid team and definitely could go on a bit of a playoff run. And so far this season, he started off with the Schwinnian Cataracts, having 15 games played, 9 points, 2 goals, 7 assists, a dash 9, and then obviously got moved over to the Ramushka Oceanic, Lafreniere's former team, where he has really turned things around and looked a lot better, having 11 games played, 6 goals, 5 assists, 11 points, and a plus 4. So 
since being moved over to Ramuski, he's looking a whole lot better. And his last 10 games play does have 11 points. So he's looking pretty good as of late, especially since being moved over to the Ramuski Oceanic. So that's a good sign there. He's definitely playing a lot better and hopefully can have a much better end of the season and potentially finish at around a point per game. But Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please smash the like button. Don't forget to comment down below your guys' thoughts on this video. And also, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all you New York Rangers fans out there as well. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.